This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. As you may be aware, every year there is an event called the League of Legends World Championship. And the winners of this event not only receive a big trophy and a ton of money, but the winning team is also immortalized within the game by receiving skins representing each player. However, the set of skins released in 2019 had something we'd never seen before. What is this? Obviously, that's a rhetorical question, as I can clearly see that that is someone eating a hot dog. But why? For context, ward skins usually aren't included when it comes to the skins given to world champions. The only exception was in 2016 when SKT won their third world title. And in honor of such an achievement, Riot made a ward skin representing SKT's coach. Which, personally, I like the idea of coaches being the ward skin, and I think they should do it every year. But they don't. They still maintain that ward skins are only given to coaches who win three world championships. Which makes this skin especially weird. Because knowing the context, you would guess that this was the coach of Invictus Gaming. But it's not. Instead, it's the owner of the team. Specifically, it's a reference to a weird picture taken of the owner, Wang Su Song, eating a hot dog. There's also this picture of him eating corn. Some people were putting on their tinfoil hats and saying that Riot only made this ward for Wang because he's a Chinese billionaire who spent a lot of money on esports. And Riot is owned by China. But realistically, there's probably no conspiracy theory here. This picture was a viral meme in China at the time, and it was taken at the World Finals. So the skin makers probably just thought it would be a funny ward. And to be fair, the ward represents Wong. And Wong technically is a professional player. In fact, a pro player with a 100% win rate. Let's rewind. This is Wang Su Song, the only son of Wang Zhonglin, who in 2016 was named the richest man in China. And with being the only child of a billionaire, Wang Su Song had access to his father's wealth. So aside from spending $20,000 on Apple Watches for his dog, he also invested his money in esports. In 2011, he bought Invictus Gaming his very own professional League of Legends team. Reckless is down! Brox is away! IG are on the Nexus! The LPL has never won before! But that will change today! The Crownless are finally king! And Invictus Gaming are your 2018 World Champions! Despite initially purchasing this team for $6 million, it actually became a very successful investment. His team has gone on to be very competitive in the Chinese LPL, and of course in 2018 they became world champions. But this isn't what we're here for. Being an owner of a team is cool, but being a player is more fun. Probably a quote by Michael Jordan or something. So on August 19th, 2018, Wang actually swapped places with one of his players and played in a real professional game. On your screen, you can see him right now. It's Principal Wang. WXZ, aka Wang Sitsong, the owner of Invictus Gaming, qualified for a professional level and is now getting to play with his team. And there's no funny business going on here. It's a legit game in front of a crowd and on stage. And the best part is that they ended up winning. It was actually an incredible comeback and the game even ended in a sort of base race. Just going to finish off this inhibitor as the minions themselves are doing damage. He walks up and his GA gets popped. No chance as he drops the thumbs up emote. Rookie will step back in the other side of the map as Principal Wong in his first LPL game, gets the last shot on the Nexus and takes the win, Invictus Gaming take the victory. But here's a little bit of context to why and how this happened. 
Initially, many people thought this was simply a rich person doing whatever they want because they have money. I did see some comments from people who were upset that he was actually allowed to do this, questioning whether he was even ranked diamond on his own account, since being at least diamond is part of the requirements for registering as a player. But apparently the vice president of Invictus Gaming made a post saying that Wong took all the steps necessary to register as a player and allegedly he was actually master ranked on one of his accounts. Because this is no spring chicken that we're just bringing in for funsies just to bring up this match. This is a guy who has reached master, who has reached diamond multiple times. He's able to qualify and go through the qualifications of everyone else. It should be said, he's coming in not as an owner today, but as an equal to players like Rookie and Jackie Love. Hopefully it's just for today. So, <laughs> Although this does prove that these dudes playing professionally are truly on a different level. As despite allegedly being a master ranked player, Principal Wong was not hanging with his team. He did end up getting a couple kills and managed not to feed, but comparatively his opposing ADC was destroying him. In the end, Wang's Jin only did 16k damage compared to the enemy Ezreal, who did 52,000 damage, the most in the game. And if you actually watch the game, you'll see Wang is getting carried to the max. Is he Jackie actually? Love. He's holding the wave. He's being the ultimate support. That's how he gets. He's his holding bonuses. it for <laughs> That's how you do it. Wong. But they still managed to find the kill. It's true shot barrage. Not enough to kill. He's oh, going but for Martin's it. feeling it. He's thinking about this. The arrow over the wall. He flashes the last bullet oh. to print the dancing grenade. Principal oh. Wong wants it, but denied again. Well done, Victus Gaming. It was definitely harder than it should have been, but they still take the victory nonetheless. Now, still, this is kind of a crazy thing to do, but there's a little bit of reasoning on why he actually did this. At the time of announcing Wong as a player, the team had a record of 15 wins and only one loss. And the upcoming match was against VG Gaming, who were the worst team in the league, with an opposite record of one win and 15 losses. So if there were ever a time to do such an experiment, it would be right now. Worst case scenario, Wong plays terribly, his team loses, and now they have a total of two losses instead of one. Which would absolutely affect nothing as they had already qualified for the playoffs. So congrats, Wong taking 100% uh, uh, win rate in the LPL. So far. In competitive. But like, he's gonna look back at the like tape and say that I didn't deserve it. His story could just be beginning. Now a month after his great victory, Wang announces his retirement and returned to his operations as the owner. Wang retired with a 100% win rate in Professional League of Legends. And he did this in the same year that Invictus Gaming would become world champions. So technically he was a player on a championship team. Therefore, you could argue he deserved that ward skin. Now, whether you're a billionaire or just a regular everyday person, you should still be browsing the internet safely with ExpressVPN. A VPN encrypts all the data sent to and from your devices, making sure that your IP address remains hidden, masking it with a brand new IP address in a territory of your choice. Personally, I often use ExpressVPN for watching content that is otherwise blocked in my country. And I know a good chunk of my audience are weebs and a lot of anime is region blocked. For example, the movie Your Name was once widely available in other regions, but now it is quite limited. However, with ExpressVPN, you can take a quick trip to Australia and your problem is solved. This applies to accessing video games, movies, and even that weird stuff you sometimes be looking at. So if you're ready to be safe on the internet, find out how you can get 3 months of ExpressVPN for free by going to expressvpn.com slash Nikolai. The link will be in the description. As always, thank you for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next week.